So we're going to look at circumference and area of a circle. You probably know these formulas. Circumference equals 2 times pi times radius, which sometimes they just say that's pi times diameter. That's the same thing. And area is pi times radius squared. They're teaching those in about like kindergarten now, so you probably know those by now. So we're not just going to use those formulas. We're going to dig a little bit deeper. Um, we're going to first take a look at this. If you inscribe a polygon into a circle, the more sides you get, the closer it starts to look like a circle. So here we've got eight sides starting to look pretty close to a circle. So if you consider the perimeter of the polygon, here the perimeter of the pentagon, not quite that close to the perimeter of the circle. Hexagon, you add in another side, it gets pretty close, it's getting closer. Octagon is getting way closer. If you imagine splitting each of these sides into two and adding in another side, another vertex between every piece, now instead of having eight sides, we have 16 sides. But that is starting to look a lot more like a circle. So if you inscribe a polygon, the perimeter of the polygon gets closer to the circumference of the circle. The polygon's getting a little bit more round, a little bit more circular. So the perimeter is getting closer the more sides you have. It's closer to the circumference. So if you want to think about it that way, that means that a circle has the largest circumference of every of any polygon. And circumference equals 2 pi r. So here we've got a Ferris wheel. Uh, it has a diameter of 40 feet. What's the circumference? We're going to use 3.14 for pi. So here we are told the diameter is 40 feet. So going all the way across, that's 40 feet. We want the radius. So divide by 2, you get the radius is 20. So for circumference, it's... 2 times pi times r. Circumference equals 2 times pi. It says we're going to use 3.14 times r, which is 20. So I'll multiply that out. You get the circumference is 125.6. So circumference is like the perimeter, it's the distance around the shape. So just putting that kind of in perspective of the problem, if you were riding this Ferris wheel, you went around one time, you went, you drove, or you rode 125.6 feet. That's how far you rode around this Ferris wheel. Every time the Ferris wheel goes around. A pottery wheel has a diameter of 2 feet. Diameter is 2 means the radius is 1. Divide by 2 to get the radius. What is the circumference? Circumference equals 2 pi r. So 2 times 3.14 times radius is 1.
So that's 6.28 feet circumference. The circumference of a tree is 20 feet. So you wrap tape measure around a tree and you see that it's 20 feet around. Find the diameter. So circumference equals to pi r. If the circumference is 20, we can solve for the radius and then double it to get the diameter. So that's 6.28. We're going to divide 20 divided by 6.28. You get the radius is now it's about 3.185. And it asks for the diameter. So you multiply that by 2 to get the diameter, and you get about... Six point three six nine feet. So it's rounded the nearest tenth of a foot, so that would be six point four feet. Very similar question. Here we have the circumference is thirty two feet equals 2 times pi times r. Again, we're finding the diameter. So 32 divided by 2 times 3.14. So 32 divided by So the radius is 5.096. Double that to get the diameter. Round it to the nearest tenth. Do 10.2. So the area formula, again, is pi r squared. So a rectangular piece of cloth is 3 feet by 6 feet. What's the area of the largest circle that can be cut from the cloth? Round to the nearest square inch. So kind of think about this a little bit. If you have 3 feet by 6 feet, we're trying to make it into a circle. The largest circle we could fit would be something that's pretty close. Like that. Which means that the diameter of the largest circle is three feet. Here's the diameter. The largest that diameter could be is three feet. So that means that the radius is 18 inches, or one and a half feet. So we can find the area by using that formula, 18 inches, because it says to the nearest square inch, so we want to be in inches. So the radius is 18 inches. Area equals pi, 3.14 we're going to use, times 18 inches squared. So start 18 squared is 324, and then times 3.14. Okay, 
and it says rounded to the nearest square inch. So we're going to round down to 1,017 inches squared, square inches. A slice of circular pizza measures nine inches in length. So when you take a slice of pizza, it says that it measures nine inches in length. So that's like the radius. What's the area of the entire pizza? Area equals pi, 3.14, times the radius squared, 9 squared. So that's 81 times 3.14. 2 254.34. That was inches and it's area, so we square. A circular swimming pool has a diameter of 18 feet. So the diameter is 18 feet, which means the radius will be 9 feet. To the nearest square foot, what's the smallest amount of material needed to cover the surface of the pool? So that's area, covering the surface, that's the area equals pi times radius squared. We just did that with inches. So again, that's going to be 254.34. But this time this was 9 feet. So it's feet squared. It says to the nearest square foot, so we need to round that. 